Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we are back at Gabe's Custom Interiors with my friend Jesus and this wonderful, beautiful 58 Corvette. So you guys didn't do the full build, you've done the interior and you've handled a couple of other things on the car recently. Yeah, I mean, we did the full interior on it. We helped them um, get it tuned. It's a beautiful car, huge 572 in it. It's a Tremec six-speed. So it's a fun nice. car to drive. Is it a like chassis, suspension, kind of everything done on it? Yeah, Art Morrison chassis, so a C6 suspension. Okay, so well well over 500 horsepower. Yep, definitely. And I mean, this car's got to weigh, what, 25, 2600 pounds? Yeah, and I mean, they're fiberglass, so you can imagine. There's not a lot of weight yeah. here. I mean, I would imagine you've added a little weight with the engine, you've added a little weight with like giving it a chassis and the mm -hmm. suspension that's under here, but still, yeah, I you am, know it's under 3,000 pounds yeah, easily. Definitely. I mean, easily under 3,000. It's 000. a little rocket. Yeah, it's gotta be, man. I'm assuming you've done under the trunk yeah. interior as well. You said this is all AMG style. Yeah, it's the AMG square perforation. Really cool, so it is tubbed, right? Yep, yeah, it's tubbed, and again, we didn't want to make the trunk smaller than it already is, yeah. so we just wrapped, wrapped the wheel tub mm -hmm. and then made panels around it and dressed it up pretty nice. And what is it for wheels here? It has the shot uh, tomahawks. Okay, what is that, like a 20 back here? That's yeah, a big, 20. those are big wheels on here. But they don't look weird, you know? No, it feel, it fills the wheel wells real nice. Yeah. Can we pop the hood and look at the look at the 572? Wow, that's so clean, man. God, that's a lot of motor stuffed in this car, isn't it? Yeah, so he didn't know what induction he wanted to he wanted to do. Um, but he's like, you know what, I think let's cut the hood and have it exposed. So when it when it was here actually for interior, he had, he had a solid hood. Oh, really? And that's how it stays, right? There's not like a plastic cover or anything no, like that? It's fully open, exposed? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's how it stays. How about for brakes? What's it? I mean, obviously, the it's got to have big brakes. Willwoods, yep. Yep. Big, big Willwoods. Oh, my God. Those are huge on, yep. Wow. Six piston caliper. Six, four, and then four rears or something? Yeah. Typical, perfect Gabe's custom interiors. Yeah, when we started this, he wanted it to be super clean and simple. So on these cars, what we do, because there's not much room, we end up, up building the seats to get them as low and far back as possible. So you start with nothing, you just fully, it's a full custom built seat. Full custom built seat. And, and the advantage to doing that, like I said, is, is getting them as low as possible and far back. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but just the, the finish around this rear yeah. shell is much tighter than it would be stock or... And like around your door jam here. I mean, that's yeah. like your whole seat is fitted perfectly to that, dude. Yeah, that's the, the advantages of, of us being able to build it is that we're able to get all those gaps nice and tight and make it look super clean. Yeah. If any of you guys watching right now don't know, haven't heard of Gabe's Custom Interiors, and I'm not saying this because I'm here with Jesus. I mean, it's... I've watched you guys over a number of years I mean, dating back to when I you know, would see you guys on TV with Boyd's. Yeah. But you, you guys, in, in my opinion, at this point, you guys have really ascended to being like the best, the best interior shop in the game. Thank you. you know? I mean, we're a family, family business. So every single person that works here is family. So I think uh, everybody takes a lot of pride in what we do. We like to produce these rolling pieces of art. So pretty cool. Yep. I've seen so many of your interiors, the speed core cars, the Steve Stroke cars, mm -hmm. all the design that goes in that. It doesn't just happen on its own. I mean, there's a lot of, there's mm -hmm. so many things going on here, including like your, the trim pieces in the door. Cause I know you guys. So those are all probably hand cut, right? Yeah, those are all made out of brass. And then we sent them out to get chrome. We did the AMG Perf, um, has a German square weave carpet, mm -hmm. classic instrument gauges. Alan at Audio Shop did all the audio on it. The audio is just crisp and clean. And is it? Yeah, it's, it's really nice. So like uh, Evod machined the steering wheel to match the shot wheel. And how many pieces did you say this wheel is? This thing is like four or five different pieces. Um, so this- Because uh, you've got this, then you got the top, but then the back, and then the center piece, right? Those are all separate pieces that then come together. Yeah. And I know I, I've sat in, plenty of old Corvettes 
it's a difficult car typically to get in and out of because you have the huge steering wheel, you know, on the on the C1s. And they're so low. This one, you've got a tilt to it and you've got a lower seat and a smaller wheel. So this has got to be pretty easy to get in and out of. I yeah, imagine. yeah, that, it makes it a lot nicer. Yeah. I'm curious, I can't wait to fire it up. What, what's uh, exhaust, do you know what the exhaust is you guys are running on this? It's a custom uh, three inch stainless exhaust and it has a magnetflow bufflers. Got it, okay. So you know it's gonna just rumble. Mm -hmm. Bitchin, well I say what we do next is do exactly that, fire it up, jump in and go for a drive in this thing. Let's do it. All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we've got merch. We've got some cool black shirts with orange logo. We got the gray shirts with a black logo. We finally have women's tanks. We've got trucker hats, flex fit hats. We've got a whole sticker pack. Personally, my favorite item, we've got keychains. Now, let's go for a drive. I'm giving it about 25% throttle. against the LS. I love the LS motor, yeah. but I think people are getting tired of seeing it so much. Right. Instant smile on the face. What, you, you know, it's funny, dude. I think if you're a V8 guy, there's no replacing it. Right. There's six cylinders, twin turbos that make massive power. They don't make this sound. They don't, they don't have that torque, you know? Some people say there's no replacement for the space. Yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for our shoot of this extraordinarily, just amazingly beautiful, beautiful 58 Corvette. Gotta admit, man, I expect the best from Gabe's interiors. They just, they are the best, I think. Personal opinion, I love their interiors better than anyone. But this car is just bitching. I mean, how much can you hate on a car that's got an Art Morrison chassis, a 572 big block in an all fiberglass Corvette? This thing's just awesome. Anyways, that's it for our shoot today, you guys. As always, a big thanks for hanging out and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later. <laughs>